Let's go over some basics to get you started with PowerPoint for Android tablet. I double tap to start typing in a text box. And then double tap again to type inside the next box. When I'm done typing, I tap my tablet's back button to hide the keyboard. My back button looks like this, but yours might look something like this, depending on your tablet. Here are a couple more tips for getting around and selecting things. When I need to put my cursor in an exact spot within the text, I double tap the text box, tap and hold the cursor, and then drag it to where I need it. To select just one word, I double tap the text box, and then double tap again. To select more words, I can tap and drag the selection handles. The keyboard does take up some space, so if I want, I can hide the tabs at the top to give me more room. And I can always bring them back. The Edit menu is where the Cut, Copy, and Paste buttons are. Keep in mind that you can also use it for whole slides. In fact, I'll use it now to copy and paste this slide. So I've got the hang of typing and editing. Now I want to insert stuff. I can do that on the Insert tab. You'll see many of your favorite buttons here, including Shapes. Here's a tip for working with shapes. After inserting one, tap somewhere else to deselect it. Then zoom in close. Tap to select it. Drag it into place. Then change it even more. When I'm done, I zoom out and then tap away to deselect the shape and see my work. Now, let's go over Slideshow View. To start it, I'll go to the Slideshow tab and then tap From Beginning. I swipe forward through the slides, just like I would if I were turning pages in a book. I can tap and hold to get a laser pointer, and swipe down to see other tools. Now I can draw on the screen, and tap here to end the show. For more on Office for Android Tablet, visit aka.ms slash Office Android Tablet videos.